I don't know if it will really make enough uh, flow to keep me fume free, but it ought to significantly cut back on my getting too fumigated. There is some airflow there, I can feel it. So here we go, let's try making some bromine with my uh, salt bridge apparatus. I've got uh, a large salt bridge this time because I believe if it's like any other resistor, then the um, resistance of the salt bridge should be proportional to the square of the radius of the bridge, but of course it's also proportional to the length and it's quite a bit longer. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and fire it up, see what happens. So before I put the spring stand in here, it was actually clean metal because I cleaned it up right before I started that run. And I'm assuming that that's probably iron bromide. I mean, I guess it could be rust, but I don't see why it would have rusted like that. But there sure was a lot of bromine fumes in there. So I think I'm going to clean that up and see what it looks like. So my fan crapped out about a week into making bromine. Um, and you can see what happened to the fan. It looks kind of like the ring stand. It's just all corroded and you can spin it with your hand, but it won't start up. Um, I'm assuming that's from the bromine fumes, which really are pretty damn corrosive. And then here's the uh, shaft of the new fan that I'm getting ready to put in nice and clean. Here's what it looks like on the old one. I mean, again, it'll spin, but it's not a, it's not a fan anymore. Um, so I think I just need more flow. What I decided to do was build a, a booster fan, if you will. It's just a big old exhaust fan with a fitting in the back to accept the hose that comes out of the out of the exhaust hood. Just like that. Let's uh, plug this thing in and see what we get. So I've put the new fan in. Let's uh, turn it on and see what kind of airflow we get. I mean, that's half decent. I got air coming out of there. It's not huge, but it's decent. Let's uh, hook it up to the other one and see what we get. So the toilet paper doesn't react much, but that's more air. I mean, the air that's coming out of this booster fan is a lot more air than was coming out of just the hose. I wish I could actually feel air moving because that's what you really should get with a fume hood, but oh well, um, surplus parts fume hood. Well, thanks very much for dropping by guys. Pretty simple one here, I just wanted to get the concept of the fume hood out there in front of you. It's too cold to actually try it out. I built it in the summertime, but I can't open the window now because it's like 30 degrees. So I'll just use it to hold my baking supplies for the moment. And uh, we'll see you later. Anyway, I think that's probably an episode. Please feel free to like and subscribe if you want. Of course, if you don't want, you don't have to. Um, appreciate it if you tell your friends. If they don't want to watch, that's okay. I'll be here just doing my thing. Anyway, thanks very much for watching and have a great day.